2022 real estate market predictions for Toronto and Ontario. Hello, friends. Yossi Kaplan here, your lovely, friendly, and hopefully smart Toronto realtor and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today I want to talk to you about my predictions for the year 2022 with real estate in specific. But we're also going to touch on global economy and on crypto. So dive in right with me. All right, friends, this is Yossi Kaplan, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. And today I want to jump right into what's going to happen with the market um, in, the new, in the new prediction. Now, I, searched, I, I researched myself to see Yossi Kaplan prediction, and I did predict a 15% uh, uh, for 2019. I think we did about that, maybe a little more. 2020 was crazy. 2021, a little less crazy, but still crazy. So let's look at what's happening, okay? So here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> The TREB, the Toronto Real Estate, uh, Regional Real Estate Board now, re just released a, a November 2021 stats. December will be about two, two and a half weeks still. Okay. And we're seeing a huge increase in price. And let me show you the graphics so it's a lot easier to see. And when you see here, this is 20, 2020. You see like jumping right through here, 2021. Okay. And we had a lull for a couple of years, but we right back up with much vigilant and force. And you can see... The price for 2019, the average price here was 819, and it went by $110,000. <clears> That's huge. To 929. That's average. <clears throat> That's average for for Toronto board. That's not the actual Toronto itself. If you go into the market watch that uh, Treb uh, produces, it's free on their website, Treb.ca. Okay, just search for market watch. You will see the actual numbers. <clears throat> so first, you look at the sales activity, and this is. Reverse order for some reason. The November 2021 is on the left. 9,017 property change hands in the system. This does not include assignments and does not include pre-construction. Okay, so the, the real number is way higher. In November 2020, we had 8,700. Now, obviously, November 2020, all the situation, all that, <clears throat> but we still have it. So the market is increasing. And look at the price. If a year ago, the average for TREB was 955, that's average for all TREB, okay? All, all, all the areas of TREB, not just the downtown or the core. Uh, we're looking at 1.16 million. That is nuts. Now, let's, uh, can I zoom in here? Okay. All right. So if you see in this, look here. This is sales and average price of a major home type so it's it's uh the sales and there's average price and there's detached semi-detached town townhouse and condo condo apartment okay and same here um this gives you the number of sale and the average price this gives you the percentage of the change in sale and the percentage in price so let's look at these four quadrants okay the sales the total sales um we had um 38 for the detached 755 and 1,500, 2,800 condos, okay? So the the number of units changing hands in the detach down by 8.2%, okay? Mostly in the in 905, people are just grabbing these properties. Semi-detached, 15%, give or take, uh, not selling, less selling than last year. Townhouse, 5%, and condos are changing hands because there's just a lot more of them. So... If you have a condo, a lot of people are selling condos. They're basically they're taking profit and they're moving on to the next. They take profit and they reinvest. They take profit and they reinvest. And this is a lot what you see here because there's no vacancy. If people were dumping condos, then the price will go down and you'll see vacancy. There's no vacancy. So you understand that the sale here just goes to someone else and whoever sold, get the profit, moves on. Okay, because we're in a up major, major uptrend area. And I'm going to get the inflation and crypto in a minute. So stay with me here. Now, the average price in the 416 is 1.8 million for the detached, 1.4 for the semi, just under a million for the townhouse, and the condo is 745. Now, these numbers came up in the 416, 22%, 22, well over the 15. Uh, for the detached, 23, about the same. For the semi, 19. For the townhouse and the condo, more modest appreciation. So, Condos are, are doing more modest appreciation, and there's many, many more of them. Therefore, it's easier to transact, and, and this way more people are basically being priced out of the houses, going to the condo. The price of the detached, price of the semi, price of the townhouse, going to the condos. Okay, nine oh five. It's a similar situation, 
905 is even worse, okay, because the average price went up by 32.7% for the day. Basically, all the forms of housing except for condos went up by 31 or 33%. And condos only 21%. So the average is you know, 30% here and 18 there. Okay, this is major. Now, when I look, and I'm going to jump into inflation and crypto right now to explain, and then I'm going to give you a bombastic announcement, I think. So once you look at um, the crypto market, obviously is nuts, right? The, the, the pendulum swings are crazy. Nonetheless, uh, if you look at the overall, it's, it's, it's still quite high. You can look at the overall uh, market. And you can look at each coin and you can look at the seven day. But overall, if I take uh, just any of them, okay, and we're going to look at uh, this is what it looks like. Now, are we an uptrend because these all go up or are we in downtrend? It looks like we're in uptrend or we'll see the next drop well, it, where it's going to bring us. If, if you put a line through these, we, but we should be expecting a major uptrend, but you don't know past is indication of future performance never okay so we don't know nonetheless if we're going to get global inflation happening so look at these uh, prices again 22 percent appreciation housing price 23 20 16 and a half so that's in the, in, in the 416 and gta is in the 30s okay so isn't that inflation when prices go up isn't that inflation but you know what? When you search for inflation, they tell you the inflation is 4.7%. Isn't housing the most major component of our economy? Of course it is. Do people that call themselves economists need a license for it? No, they do not. Any econ I'm an economist. You're an economist. My neighbor's economist. Everyone's economist. Okay, you do not. You need a license to be a real estate agent. Need license to be a doctor, a lawyer, mortgage broker, accountant. Not for an account, not for. Um, okay, you got it. <clears throat> Economist does not need a license. I see here. If you look at the charts, that everything is going up price like crazy. How come it's not part of inflation? Okay. So I'm going to predict way more than 15. I'm going to predict anywhere from 20 and up for this coming year. That means that your money, this is really cool, CPI uh, inflation calculator. Okay, consumer uh, index. So 100 bucks, you had a 2,000. It's worth 61%, 61 uh, cents. So you lost about 40 cents. So if you had 100 bucks, 20 years ago, and now you're going to pull it out of the drawer. It's worth $60. $60. That's it. Okay, well, what happened if you only had it last year? Let's say 2018, before the whole thing started. You only lost, say, 11 bucks of your 100. What if uh, you had the 100 bucks cash in your drawer at 107? You lost $7.40 of that money. In one year, okay? Now that's what inflation called, but there's the real inflation is way, way higher. This is what real inflation looks like. 22% price increase, 32, 30%, 30.3% total price increase on in the price of detached. Now, yes, that tells you that people like housing because they believe that housing is a hedge against inflation. And I'm telling you that the numbers that you see here, this is a joke. This is not real. <clears throat> because you're not taking into consideration, like, look, go to the supermarket. Like, you're paying 25% more on average than what you paid before. So why this is 4.7? Where are these numbers from? I don't know, but these are not real numbers. Your 100 bucks next year is only is only good for $80, okay? You're going to buy that property now. Maybe your 100 bucks is only good for $70 next year if it's going to go like this. Now, the other people will say, well, you know, we're going to have a market crash. If we're going to have a market crash, everything will crash. Not just that, not just everything will crash. And the only few things that serve as a hedge against inflation, real stuff, are real estate. It's real stuff. Okay, it's tangible. You can put a tenant in, you can live there. So this is why people invest in houses.
So what about the Bitcoin? That's not real. That's right, but so is the dollar. The dollar is not real either. There's no gold backup for dollar. It just made up. There's a thing called the Federal Reserve, which is a private corporation. It's not a government. And it prints, issues dollars. And the government are, for some reason, obligated to buy this info and, and keep paying them interest. And, be, and it's just like a huge Ponzi. It's a pyramid because they can't pay. The, no one's paying that interest anyways. Just taxes coming out and taxes will be more, obviously. You're going to have less money and that money's going to be worth less. It's, it's, it's both sides of the sword is going to bleed you real bad, okay? So they issue that money and then the government buys that money, pays them interest, and then they don't have enough money to pay them back. So they buy more money to pay the interest on the money they bought. And then they buy more money to... See what I mean? So if you are in the, in the market to buy real estate, <clears throat> you got to really consider because you, you got to consider what you're going to do with your money, period, okay? Now, I'm no financial consultant. This is not a financial advice, but logically, if you see what's going on in all these markets, you got to understand that prices are going up because we're printing too much of this stuff, okay? Uh, the U.S. just signed a bill for two point something trillion dollars so they can keep operating. Now, that's a lot of money. That's more budget than most countries combined. So what is this money? Where is it used? Where is it going to? I don't know. But what I know is your money is going to be worth less and less and less. Now, these are official numbers for inflation, 6.8%. And here the number official is 4.7%. I'm going to give you my number. My number is a 30.3% price of inflation. Okay? Your 100 bucks is now 70. Your house just shrank by 30%, the house you didn't buy. That's it. So if you're in the market to do a deal, give me a call, Yossi Kaplan. <laughs> I'll help you out. <clears throat> I highly suggest that you contact me. Uh, this email, just if anything, post, but this is the contact. So you can, you can uh, see what I got to say there. You can ask me questions. Either side, it's all good. Yossi Kaplan, Search Realty. Thank you very much. Good luck.